So you're looking for a rugged phone, then this might be the phone for you. This is the review of the ELW9. So we of course have our phones like the Samsung Galaxy, the LGs and the iPhones and so on. All great phones, but what if you need a phone that isn't about the latest and greatest? What if you simply need a phone that stays together after dropping it from time to time? Well you could go for the Samsung Galaxy Active series, but what if you want a step beyond that? Well this is where this phone comes in. Now of course we can start talking about its camera and how fast it is and anything like that, but this phone isn't meant for that. This phone is truly meant for those whose phone gets a beating every now and then. Now of course while it's aimed at a totally different group than the normal phones, having a phone that works fast enough and works properly is still important. And while using this I really had to grasp the idea how it would be for someone who buys this kind of phone. Slowly I stopped caring about the way that I placed it in my pocket to avoid scratches. Or when I'm coming back I didn't mind throwing it on the couch, even if it bounced off I would know it is fine. And that is the feeling that it gives you, a feeling like it will be fine even if you drop it. Yes, because of the plastic material you will see damage faster, but in turn plastic is more durable than metal. And that is what matters on a phone like this. But even if you are not focused on the camera or the speed itself, you do want to capture some pictures from time to time. Now this phone has an 8 megapixel camera with a dual lab beside it. Pictures that come from it are nothing to write home about. But it's fine if you just want to capture something simple. But it is a pretty slow camera and I do feel like having a little bit more when it comes to the camera wouldn't have hurt this product in any way. Also when we look at the camera and we go down a bit we actually see two screws. Now these screws are there to hold the flap into place for the sim card and so on. Around the trace you will also see another protective rubber case to keep the water and dust out. What is really smart about the way that they did this is that the screws don't disconnect from the flap itself. So there is no way that you would actually lose the screws. And while we're talking about that, the phone comes with an IP68 rating. This is done by the flap, but also by the flap on the top. The flap however is pretty hard to remove, which can be a good or a bad thing. But what does hurt the phone for me is the display itself. It's not bright enough. At the end of the day people who use this phone are often outside, meaning the screen should get bright enough for those ones who are using it in direct sunlight. It isn't horrible, but it's far from great. And with the group you are aiming for, the brightness of the display should be a priority. Now what really does help the phone is that it's powered by a pretty big 4000 mAh battery. It keeps the device running through the day without a problem. So overall, this is a phone you take with you when you know you're probably going to damage your phone, when you know your Samsung Galaxy or your iPhones wouldn't come home scratch free. This is however not a phone you should see as a replacement of those when it comes to taking amazing pictures or having a stunning display. Not only because of what the phone stands for, but also because of its price. Would you compare it to a phone around this price, it still wouldn't be on the same level, but the difference is of course much less, and then the camera becomes somewhat decent. So do you damage your phone a lot, and do you need something like this? Well be sure to check the link in the description and check it out yourself. Either way, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get a notification when I upload a new video. Have a good one, and talk to you guys in the next.